It's more or less a given that FrameMaker is an excellent word processor. And the fact that you registered in this course means you probably already agree that FrameMaker is an excellent choice for developing long documents and long document applications. What you may not already know is that FrameMaker is also a specialized editor for structured content. And so along with this sample right here that we're going to use in a while, you can see that this document is a regular document without structure inside of it. FrameMaker directly supports a few content models. If you go to the new menu item, you can see that it supports DITA, and that's the Darwin Information Typing Architecture, and it supports other XML models as well. You can see in my default install that at the bottom of my new XML dialog, I have a series of S1000D, which is a defense and aerospace standard. Inside of FrameMaker, we've got default templates for working with this content, and you can see in this document, which is a DITA topic, that you've got this structure right here, which gives you a little bit more guided editing process and gives you help in filling out that structure model. Likewise, you can see that this is the template for a S1000D document. And when you create a new document using this model, it pre-populates some things and then allows you to enter others as needed. FrameMaker also gives you great options for outputting digital formats. If we take this personal spaceship user guide, which is part of the samples provided with FrameMaker 2017, and we convert it to PDF, the content looks like this. You can see that we've got bookmarks and other navigational features. Additionally, the document has working U3D models and also contains rich media and video. But it doesn't stop there. Back in FrameMaker, you can access the Publish Pod through the File menu. And the Publish Pod will give you options to output some of the most popular formats for mobile and handheld devices. Even straight out of the box, when you set your source to the appropriate file, in this case a book, when you use the default settings supplied with FrameMaker, and when you define your output directory, you can simply publish that content and view the generated files on any device you like. The content has the same rich media, and the content responds to the width of the window. So if you view this content on a mobile device, everything about the experience changes. The navigation is hidden, and the content reflows to fit the width of the window itself. You can even choose to generate mobile apps for Android and iOS devices and deliver those files on the Google Play and Apple app stores.